We have reached the end of 44's Top 44 Countdown, and the second-ranked female athlete on our list comes from the hardwood. She helped Liberty Benton to three state tournaments while setting records for the Eagles, and also being compared to her older brothers, both standout athletes in their own right. Kate Kraft. Liberty Benton, class of 2012 basketball. The 2012 Division III Ohio Player of the Year averaged 21.4 points, 6.7 rebounds, 3.8 assists, and 4.3 steals her senior season. Twice first team all Ohio. Led Liberty Benton to three state tournament berths in four years, winning it all in 2010 and earning tournament MVP honors. Averaged 21 points, 7.5 rebounds, four assists, and five steals as a junior, surpassing 1,000 career points in her career that year. You know, Kate came in her, her sophomore year, she made 92 three-pointers for us that season when we were state champions, and, and she was more of just a pure shooter for us. We had some upperclassmen that handled a lot of the ball handling, and, and she just kind of stood out there and waited for that kick-out pass, and, and she shot the ball extremely well. And now as her career progressed, she had to pick up and do some more for us. And, you know, she's the, the, the leading scorer that I've ever coached. She's second in our school all time behind Katie Butler. Um, and she could just score in many ways. I mean, she was so physically strong. She got to the free throw line. Obviously, was a great perimeter shooter, but was also able to score off the dribble. And, you know, when I, when I think of Kate, I just think of, of a winner. I mean, she went, her teams went 92 and 8 during her four years. And, you know, obviously her senior year, she kind of carried us with some younger players down to the state tournament again. And, you know, she just had a great career for us. You know, she, she was a fun kid you know she had a good personality uh, very mature you know she could carry on a conversation with an adult where you know some 14 or 15 year olds get extremely nervous and don't know how to you know interact with adults sometimes but from a young age she was able to you know she she handled herself well and, and um, you know she was a, a good kid to coach and a lot of, a, a lot of fun to be around she was always very loose and and easygoing and even though she was Aaron's little sister uh, she rose to the occasion in some very big moments, both in high school and then we saw uh, what a great career at Ohio State. She wasn't just there because her brother went there and he got her on the team. She proved that she was a vital member of the Lady Buckeyes. Yeah, she was, she was a better shooter, I think, than Aaron was. Um, but she, she was a really, really good basketball player that when you look back at some of those Liberty Benton teams, they were loaded with talent and Kate was right up there with Amanda Hyde with those state championship teams. Like you said, not quite the same player as Aaron, a better shooter though. And uh, she just really Im was impressive at Liberty Benton has now gone on to a great career at Ohio State. And you know, I admire that in her as much as anything because you sometimes play in someone else's shadow. I think that's a tribute to her family. Uh, I think that's, I know her dad very well. I think that's a tribute to Liberty Benton and their coaches that they're able to use her strengths, which you're right, a little bit better shooter maybe in her regard. And I think she created her own identity. And I think that's very difficult for a, a player to do, regardless of their different gender or not. And I hold her in a tremendous high esteem for that. But after her freshman year, John, you know, she told John, hey, I think I could be a college basketball player. So he started to work with her a little bit more. And, you know, but it was never from a pressure standpoint. But, you know, she put a lot of time in her last three years of, of high school. And, you know, when I when I watched her play in junior high, I knew she was good. But I, I would have never guessed that she'd play at the highest level at Ohio State like she did uh, for four years. Uh, but that's just a testament to the, the hard work she put in. And, you know, she, you know, she was a gifted athlete, but not just you know, heads and shoulders better than everybody else. So she had to put a lot of hard work in to, to get where she ended up being at. And she had a great career at Ohio State as well. She was willing to do whatever it took for, for her team to be successful. In high school, she had to score a lot of points for our team to be successful. And in college, she didn't need to. And she kind of took on that defensive stopper role and, and did a great job with that. Kraft started over 100 games at Ohio State and served as a captain her senior season. Kate Kraft, number two on 44's Top 44 Female Athletes.